Yum yum. You've imported some CAD from somewhere. It looks like garbage. The polygons are a mess. Maybe you did some auto retopology thing to some voxels you imported for some cool project, and you just don't have the time or the will or maybe the money to retopo everything. And then you v it. You need try plane or mapping. It's my new favorite thing, and I like saying try plane or mapping. I just learned about it recently, but I'm kind of new to 3D anyway, so that happens to me all the time. And I just wanted to share it with you because it saved my butt recently. It was awesome. Here's how it works. We are in the Octane Render workspace. We got our GPUs fired up, and we're going to add an Octane override by going to Add Layer, Custom Materials, Octane Override. It'll create a new workspace for you called Bone Nodes. We're in Bone Nodes. And we're going to add a bunch of stuff here, but first I'm just going to delete this glossy material. Don't need it, don't want it. Instead, I'll add a diffuse material and I'll plug that in like so. So there are some nodes you need to add to set up triplanar mapping. There's a lot of them, but let's do this together. I'm going to add a new texture, mapping, triplanar map. It's the first step. And I'll plug that into the diffuse. Then we need a texture, something to look at. So I'll start with this uh, UV checker. And then we'll need a new texture and a new RGB image. So plug the texture into the file name for that. And then, oh man, it's a lot. Uh, let's add a new projection and a triplanar projection. And we'll get this default Octane Mesh UV projection out of there. Plug that in in its place under projection. And now we are all set up. So there's, there's a lot to add here. I'll start by plugging this output from our texture into the positive x-axis texture. Right away you can see the texture is being projected onto the side of the mesh along the x-axis. So let's do the negative x-axis and the texture will start to be applied on the other side. And it's being clipped, so it's being planar projected onto either side, but it's clipping so that it's not also projecting a stretched texture on the top or the front or the side. So let's just plug everything else in. All right, some notes. Why do we have so many plugins here? Why don't we just have one plugin? Well, this allows you to to plug in a six up to six textures so you can blend between different textures. Other thing I want to show you, I'm going to unplug these guys so we can appreciate what's going on here. The blend angle. If you increase this number, let's say to 40, it will soften the edge of your projected texture. But I like the default five value, so I'm going to stick with that. You also have this default transform node which came in, which you can use to scale your textures. So let's say 50% and I'll plug everything back in. And let's just replace this image here. And I think that's pretty good. If, you, if you're in a pinch, I think planar projection will help you out. As I mentioned, it saved my butt before. I'm going to change this. I'll plug it into the bump value and let's invert this image. And there we go. Nice little easy bone texture on my cool little bug-eyed skull thing. Yum, yum.